Well, hey, howdy. Welcome to the Camp Wound Dog Workshop. Here's a little tip that you might find handy. You know, some of the early Coleman lanterns, the shade, you know, the mid-range lanterns had the shade with a skirt. The early lanterns had the shade with no skirt. And these are kind of hard to find. These are easier to find. I'm going to show you how to do that out of one of these guys. I got a, a tile cutting blade from Menard. This is actually like a little diamond blade. This costs about six bucks. And I'm using my Dremel tool with the new quick, uh, quick release cutting wheels. And that's the cat's meow. Makes it a lot easier. Um, what you want to do is use this diamond blade to cut the enamel on the shade first. This enamel porcelain is, is glass, essentially a type of glass. Um, so this tile cutting blade works real good. The, the trick is though, this blade against bare glass generates a lot of heat really fast. So you want to keep this cool. There's a couple different ways to do that. One is as you cut, use a water spray bottle, or like I have, I made myself a little bath out of a five-gallon liquid, uh, five-gallon bucket lid, and a little bit of the bucket. Now, the trick on this is to make your cut just right. I'm going to try to show you how to what's going on here. Hang on a second. Okay, I have two lines here. One line is perpendicular to the side. The other line is going down. This is how you want to make your cut with your wheel. If you cut this way, you're going to lose about an eighth of an inch of this for your blade width. But if you cut at an angle coming in like that, you're going to be a lot better off and save a lot of your uh, shade there, get more shade. Now, what I do, there's always a risk of your diamond blade skipping up and hitting that and nicking it. So what I'll do is I put about five wraps of masking tape around that to protect it. So I'm going to cut this and show you how this works. Now I've already done most of it. I don't want you to have to sit here for 10 minutes watching me make noise. Hang on. So I'm just going to finish this off. Put it in a water bath. You're going to make some noise here, so hold your ears. Now you can also do this in your bathtub. But since this is electric, you'd probably kill yourself with shock. So this is an easier way. You don't want to cut them through the metal because that's such a wide blade. You just want to bust through your porcelain glass. Then I come in with my Dremel, cut off once again with a metal cutting blade. Get the water out of the way. Oh, sorry, I got the dog. Um, hang on, let me clean up. All right. And then once again, you're not cutting down like this or in like this. You're cutting at this angle. Now I make one light pass around at first. I'm not trying to go through the metal yet. But that's just so my wheel has a track to cut in and it doesn't wander all over the place. So once I got my track in, I come back and do a deeper cut. And this time 
I'm cutting right through the metal. There you go. Now, see, that thing's gone. You're going to use up about two of these little easy fix wheels to, to do this project. And these things at Menards, I don't know, they cost about two bucks a piece. So you're using up four dollars worth of blade. This is six to eight bucks, so that's another ten, twelve dollars. But to find one of these on eBay is going to easily cost you thirty bucks plus shipping. So you're way ahead if you got one. So then after you make your cut, uh, peel off your tape, if you can. I got so many wraps on here, it's tight. Hang on. There we go. The heat makes your uh, tape stick a little better than it normally would. So anyway, you can pull your tape off. And most likely, you're going to have some little metal burrs. I use another gadget I get at Menards. It's a soft cutting abrasive pad. Just buzz that off from the inside. Anyway, if the tape was off. And there you go. I'm, I'm doing this for a USF that I'm restoring for my buddy Greg. So he sent me the, the shade and all the parts. I just had to make this cut. So there you go. For about 10, 12 bucks, you got yourself a shade that would cost you who knows what on eBay. All right, anyway. Thanks for stopping by Camp Moon Dog Workshop. Y'all have a, a good rest of the weekend. Bye-bye.